61% completion on the season. Here's Schwartz. And he reaches for the marker as he did so. The ball popped out. He hasn't needed to out of the pocket. 27-yard attempt for Anders Carlson. And he bangs it through. And so Auburn gets three out of that lengthy drive of 15 play. Last pick, that means Rodgers is now leading the way. It's now 170 consecutive attempts without an interception. Pressure, hung the ball out, and somehow escapes, able to fall forward. It's still a sack and a loss of six. right we know everything pre-snap then we have an advantage but if you're not prepared for the protection then you're behind the eight ball to start here's Schwartz and he bursts through to midfield and another first down for Auburn on a pickup of 12. Auburn looks like they're gonna bring pressure here go man one high can't quite get to Rodgers he'll give ground Lob it up down the sideline, and it's intercepted by Auburn, taken away by McCreary. He's got the sideline, and he's finally forced out near midfield. Papo will drop off. They don't go with a zero nose here. Rodgers pressured and they get to him. And Auburn sack coming from Derek Hall. It's a loss of seven. Went through the second quarter. We got three points in the board. Rodgers pump and go to the left. We'll come back to the right. And Auburn is there again. That's Papo. Arizona State transfer on to attempt. And he drills it from deep. He a very clean performance by the Tigers. I'm big on moving them each and every week. I don't think you just <laughs> leave them the same. Here's Bigsby. He's moving them inside the 30. And the freshman rips off a monster gain on a pickup of 33. And it leaks right. It is good. Just inside the right upright, and Auburn's got a couple of three-pointers from Anders Carlson. He's going to be manned up with Puckett, a safety. That's a matchup Mississippi State should attack. Pressure, and he goes down. Auburn with its third sack of the night, and a little dance for Colby Wooden.
five-man rush. Knicks fires a bullet, and Errol Thompson will string up John Samuel Schenker. This is seventh catch of the season. It goes for six. Pardon me, that's Frazier. Pressure coming up the middle. Knicks deep drop. A laser complete for a first down. It's Seth Williams. And Auburn will move the chain. For Seth Williams and Bo Nix with a great ball. There's a gain of 25. Bigsby gets a great block on the edge. He's got the sideline and he's finally forced out at the 40. Brandon Frazier was the one who cleared the way for a gain of 27. Deep ball, caught, Williams, touchdown Auburn, he'll do the talking on Emerson now, it's a 32 yard scoring strike. Windows get smaller and these spread teams often struggle. Not struggling here. A shot to Austin Williams and he'll take it in for an eight yard score. He was wide open. Tank Bigsby with a stiff arm. And he'll bounce to the outside. And another shot in at the end for good measure. 18 yards for Bigsby. So. Bigsby, straight ahead this time. And he'll just take dudes with them and carries them into the into state territory down to the 45. It's a 50. Tank Bigsby in the backfield. And he bounces to the outside, gets it to the 20, to the 15, to the 10. And he's forced out of bounds at the 5 by London Kraft to pick up a 25. Bigsby not short of emotion. He's a big tight end, will shift. Nick's going to keep it, try to run for it, changes direction twice. Begees gives him a block, and Nix takes it in for the rushing touchdown from three yards out. Quick hitter into the end zone for a two-point conversion to Zabian Capers, his first catch of the night. And Auburn's up by 14 with 6.03 to go. Under five to go. Rodgers, pressure by Papo. He hurdled a guy to take down the quarterback, and it's a fourth sack of the night for Auburn.
ball. Uh, Coach Gus, you know, he that's, that's his favorite thing to do, run the ball. And he was preaching to us, uh, we got to run the ball. We have to run the ball. So, uh, you know, I put it on my shoulders and said that, we, that we're going to run the ball and uh, then look back.